I will send scores of spirits to their rest. With the light beside me, I am untouchable. The light will protect us. How is sparring and training with dummies supposed to prepare me for fighting ghosts? What if they turn me into one? The Knights Penitent think they understand what's out there. Think their light's enough to face it. They're in for a shock. Wood will bend like grass in the wind when the spirits arrive. Physical barriers alone will not be enough. And your talismans and dirt scrolling will give the dead greater pause. You picked a fine time to visit Breistag, Wanderer. The whetstones are singing. Hearts are pounding. Sweet music for a red day. Donan sent me. <laughs> At least you're not another night penitent. At least? It is us who will protect this village with our lives. Let it be. <laughs> there is an ominous fog uphill. Mad spirits emerge from it. They'll be here shortly. Are you here to help us ward them off? I seek a demon who passed through. <sighs> so, that's what it was. <sighs> well, this day keeps getting better, doesn't it? The demon went uphill to Erida's domain. But unless you want to join the spirits, I wouldn't go there. It's best you stay with us. I can lead you to Erida. Out of the question. I'll be safe. Donan puts his trust in this traveler. So shall we all. Tell me when you're ready to move. Mind what lurks in the fog, and return as soon as you can. Donan will have my head if anything happens to you.
She's a legend. One of the druids who fought alongside my father to defeat Astaroth. I was raised on stories of her wisdom and courage. The roads are thick with fog, so the fastest route to the hills is east, through the Weeping Cairns. I can do the same one day. My father, you've seen how he is. I need to persuade him just to let me leave the bloody keep. to them. It's sealed, but there's writing. They look like old druid runes. The Song of Wind, the Howl of... Oh no, they're coming. Hurry. All right. E a le, e a le du gro a ni do la no do. It's a chant. The chant will open the way. Light, protect us. Hold them off!
It worked. Something's rousing the spirits from their rest. We should make haste within. Chamber. It's just how my father described it. You've never been here? Erida would not have barred the path of the dead like this. The spirits should be free to roam within the earth. Lelith. Strange. The door is locked with an earthen seal. What was it my father said about this? Wardstones. That's it. If you bring me one from the nearby cairns, I think I can open the way. Father always respected their beliefs and customs. It was important that I grew to understand his admiration. Whenever he talked about coming here to meet Erida, I saw a light in his eyes that rivaled any fire. The two were close, though... I think time has seen them drift apart. No, but this was her land. She was something of a scholar. Preserved local customs and rituals. She passed when I was young, and... Well... Most of what I know about her is through her writings. Thank <laughs> you. 
Laydal Hal El Oskal. Oh, that did it. Maybe this will ease the dead. It's a start, at least. Demonic markings. Lilith's been here. Something's written on the altar. By stone and root, by tears and pain, we bear this flame that must remain. Dead eyes stained with ash and ember, cursed are we who must remember. Ah, an elegy written by Eretha. This... This is a memorial to all who died fighting Astaroth. The weak perish. All us forgotten. Wait, we we are not your enemy. heroes to her will. Erida would never stand for it. Unless... Oh, something has happened to her. We don't know that yet. Come on. Must be the cairn of the elders. So much defiled. Demonic scars upon their grave and druid runes to rouse the dead. These runes, the delicate touch. This is Erida's work. Why would you be aligned with the demon? I've seen others fall under Lilith's control. Erida was sworn to keep the dead at peace. What do we do? We'll need to stop them. Right. Solutions are found ahead, not behind, as Father says. dead 
from the cairns. Returned to the worms. May they find rest. Arlo? Did you think we'd so easily join the dead, lad? How did you find your way up here? Through the cairns. Through them? Mighty brave of you. And mighty foolish. Erida came through with a horned woman. Not her normal company, to be sure. Ah. Lilith. They headed towards Solitude, the top of the hill. The sound of Erida's Talharpa carried with the wind. And then, this madness began. If your aim is to follow them, you won't get far with all this fog. It seems to be drawn to the risen remains. We spotted others in the hills before this one tore from the earth. I'll stay here and protect these two. The fog is too near to leave them undefended. The stones defend us, lad. I remember when you were still a... I'm staying, Arlo. <laughs> Stubborn like your father. That will keep you alive. Much safer than stumbling through all this fog. These huts are more than just stone. My ancestors blessed them to ward off storm and spirit alike. When the wicked wind starts to moan, best to shelter in the safety of storm. <sighs> right you are, lass. I told them to stay put, but they all fled when the fog crept in. I'm sure they're safe. They know these hills better than anyone. But fear has a way of making the wise into fools. I'm a friend of his father. Met him in the days of Ash. Saved his life, actually. <laughs> if you asked him, he'd probably claim he saved mine. Hasn't come up this way in a long while, but he used to. Now and then I'd even go and share a pint with him in his fancy house. <laughs> That's how I came to know Yorin. I have enough food to last us weeks. Sharpen my blade, too, in case any spirits get too close. You taught her well. Not so much to learn from someone like me. The truth is, she's the reason I've lasted so long up here. 